Good evening. Thank you for joining us for Cron 4 News at 11. I'm Dan Thorne. We're learning more tonight about the viral video of an arrest in Vallejo. Police say it was related to a police chase following a burglary. A man who witnessed the arrest talked with Cron 4's Sarah Stinson tonight, and she brings us this report. A viral TikTok shows a Vallejo police officer as he punches a woman while attempting to arrest her. This video was taken by Romir Hamilton. Before police arrived, he saw the woman crash into a cement truck. I was like, oh my God, somebody could be hurt. And then I saw the lights come in and then the cop get out with his gun drawn. I was like, okay, this is not what I expect was going on. The police pursuit all stemmed from a burglary reported at a store at Gateway Plaza around noon Friday. Security told an officer the thieves drove off with some merchandise in a blue Nissan Altima. The officer attempted to pull the suspected car over, but the driver refused and that led to a pursuit. Police say the the driver ran a red light and crashed into an SUV driven by a woman with her two children inside and then into the cement truck on Admiral Callahan Lane. The Vallejo Police Department says the woman then aggressively resisted arrest, but the video shows something else. The officer is seen slamming the woman against the truck and then on the ground where she's then punched in the face. Um, I was completely shocked to see what, what he had done and, and I know I know now um, that this person had burglarized and, and was fleeing from the cops, but at the same time, she has rights. You know, he's, from what I can tell, he's about twice her size. So once once she's down, especially, that the punch was unnecessary. We spoke with a criminal defense attorney who agrees this use of force is unacceptable. That police officer's conduct was absolutely outrageous. He had no right to use that amount of force. A police officer is only allowed to use reasonable force. A spokesperson for the Vallejo Police Department told Cron 4 on Friday this officer did follow protocol, but says this incident will be sent to the use of force review board. According to police, another woman was in the passenger seat and tried to run away from the scene after the crash, but two civilians stopped her. After the arrests, officers found $2,000 worth of stolen merchandise from the business. The store also provided evidence that the same two people stole from them on September 26th. Police say the driver was on felony probation for grand theft and shoplifting, and the passenger had a warrant out for her arrest in San Mateo for burglary and a $50,000 warrant in Napa for grand theft. Both women have been arrested. Their names have not been released. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting Cron 4 News.